County's Gold, a tribute to Heal Hauser, is produced by MyBox Moving and Mobile Storage and in association with the San Diego Regional East County Chamber of Commerce and has been endorsed by the San Diego County Farm Bureau. Hi, this is Kyle Taylor with San Diego County's Gold, and today we're out here at a great county establishment out in Santee, California. And to better familiar guys with what you can process here, well, it's Jordan Marks, who's a taxpayer advocate here in San Diego County. Jordan, Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. So where are we here today? Welcome to the San Diego County Assessor Recorder County Clerk's Office. Wow, that's a mouthful, but that's because you guys perform a lot of services here. That is. And you know, I'll tell you, I'm wearing a mask of Disneyland, and a lot of people say that's the happiest place on earth. We like to say this is where happiness begins because this is where we get to perform a lot of marriages in East County. This is where it begins. So Jordan, why don't you take me through all the step-by-step -step places and services you guys have to offer here? Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Wow, Jordan, this is uh, quite the nice. So it looks like it was dedicated actually on, on March 12th on your sign over here. That's, that's amazing. We just hit our one year anniversary. One year anniversary. Okay, so wow, that's a that's a lovely seal you guys have here. That's just the, uh, for the county or the? This is the county seal and it reminds us every day we come to work, the noblest motive is the public good. The public good. Now, Jordan, tell us about step one. If you're coming here to visit, what's, your, what's the first thing you should do if you're coming here to get married or file your taxes? What's, what's step one? Well, I got to tell you, step number one step is one. you get to meet our wonderful security guard out front. He's here to help you, but I'll tell you what he does is he makes sure you brought your driver's license. It is amazing how many people show up for services and they forget to bring their driver's license or their basic IDs that we need in order to provide some of the key services that we do here. So they need to know who you are, so make sure you bring your ID and any other important papers you think, even if you think you don't need it, bring it, right? Yeah. That's what I always do, over prepare. We want every trip here to be successful and it starts by checking in at the front desk. We make sure that you have everything you need all the paperwork you need to file, and we get you to your appointment, and we get you out. It's fast, quick, and efficient service here at the Assessor Recorder Clerk's Office. And, and Jordan, tell us a little more about some of the uh, accolades you guys have received as a new structure here in San Diego County. Well, I'll tell you, we got an Orchard Award. It's the Orchard? Archer, it's an architecture society. Oh. Gave us their top award because it is a beautiful building. It is fantastic here. So Jordan, I understand you guys perform three main services here at the assessors, recorders, and clerk's office. Did yes. I get that right? Yes, you did. <laughs> got it right. Kyle, you get a 10% property tax reduction. 10%? Just, oh, just joking. Just joking. Just joking. But that's what we do. We actually house our appraisers here. And we actually appraise over 1 million parcels across San Diego County. Wow. And so our folks that work East County and live in East County, they get to work right here in East County. And as part of our appraisal work, we also do boats, planes, and even penguins. Penguins? I Whoa. know. But that's not in East County, so we'll leave that for another well, day. That's a whole other segment. In addition, as the recorder, this is where you come to get all your birth certificates, death certificates, marriage certificates. And even when you record your deeds, this is where you transfer property. We are the official recorder and respiratory of records, repository. So this is where it all happens. This is where it happens. And then lastly, the fun stuff, as I mentioned, where, the, where all happiness begins. As the county clerk, we actually issue marriage licenses. Ernie Dronenberg is the commissioner of civil marriages. And so we actually issue about 25,000 licenses a year on average. And then we actually perform, wow. our staff performs half the ceremonies here on site. And we have a beautiful wedding facility here. It's affordable, it's lovely, and it captures the beauty of East County. Not only that, I'm gonna add, we also house our treasure tax collector friends here. They can go ahead and pay their property taxes here and get assistance because, you know, Property taxes and appraisal. Yeah. It's like peanut butter and jelly. And they we go together the perfectly. It makes a great sandwich. Yeah. And then the last thing, and this is the really special part about this yeah. building, is that we opened up our county archives here for all real uh, maps. All of your archive records. work is handled right here in Santee. And so this is the repository for all of San Diego County, all of our records that were mandated by law to re record. So every record that's mandated, Jordan's got them here right for you in Santee. So if you yes. need to help finding some specific information, you'd come here, you'd check in at the front desk, and they'll show you where to go, not forgetting your ID. And it's a state-of-the-art facility. 
don't worry, you don't need the ID to look at the archives, but we're currently transmitting, transporting everything over here right now from our holding facility because we want to make sure these records are available to the public. So everything's going to be right here on site. That's right. So are those physical records or digital records? So some of them are digital records uh, and some of them are physical records. Well, I think we might have to go check those out. Is that something we can actually go check out? Yes. And so we're in the oh, process, uh, you know, COVID slowed things down a little bit, but don't worry. We are putting good people to work right here in East County. There's over a hundred jobs here in this facility people that live in East County, and they're the ones that are going to be filling right the archive with the records. Great. And, and Jordan, as, as an ambiance, this place is beautiful. It's got great light. But you want to take me over here and explain a little more about some of the art you guys have here on site? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The real visionary for this East County live, work, play service center and archive is Ernie Dronenberg. I mean, when he came into office, he said, we have to provide something better for the community, something that reflects the community. And he really had the vision for the East County Service Center and Archive. Ernie, an architect by trade. Yes. Made sure you guys had a beautiful facility here with this great mural. You wanna tell us a little about this? Well, I'm, I bet most people didn't realize when they were electing Ernie, not only did he come with a background from a professional tax firm, but also a great taste for art. And so beautiful actually- Beautiful art too. Part of the county uh, requirements when you add new buildings is that there's a small portion set aside for art. And so the county has a committee and some professionals that work to bring fine artists in to inspire our community and capture our community. And so this is an artist, uh, Christine Wynn, and she has this piece and a mural that really capture what's called the mountains to the sea. And wow. I'll tell you, every time I walk in and I move, I'm inspired by the sunset over the ocean and really her ability to have captured the heart and, and beauty of East County. This is a, a fantastic thing, but being here in the East County, I'd imagine this is a sunrise. Yes, it is a sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, well, no, no gotcha questions today. Yeah. <laughs> well, great, thanks, Jordan. Let's go check out that chapel I saw. Well, Jordan, we were passing by, and this is actually the civil ceremony or the chapel waiting room um, here at the Santee assessor's office, but look at this mural. Want to tell us a little about this? It's San Diego County. Well, uh, as I mentioned, we do perform the civil ceremonies and this is the Magnolia waiting room. This is where you and your family get to wait as you're taking that huge jump into happiness. And one of the things that we wanted to capture was a moment for you to say, hey, I'm in San Diego County, I'm in East County. And if you take a look at this mural, we spent a lot of time capturing parts of East County Beautiful to build this mural photos. and provide something gorgeous to make your day, the day that happiness begins, the most memorable day possible. And if you're an influencer and you're looking for a cool backdrop to <laughs> post from, and, and it, I, you know what, do you have a Sharpie? I just got to put San Diego County's gold <laughs> the, and I'll sign it. So it'll be worth a lot of money. If this building ever happens, you might want to get extra insurance policy on that. <laughs> well, let's go see the, the indoor civil ceremony space you guys have here at the, at the uh, center out here in Santee. Let's go. <laughs> so from the waiting room into the, the actual ceremony space. This is where the magic happens. So this is where the magic happens, huh? Well, and, and that's really what we believe is that happiness does begin here. It starts with great customer service, making the process simple, seamless. Fantastic space. I understand you guys have an outdoor uh, chapel as well. Yeah. And ceremony, religious ceremony space, <laughs> civil ceremony space. We actually do all the licenses. So when you're going to get married at your church, synagogue, mosque, you come here to get your license. But if you want to have a civil ceremony, we have, a, we have a pews set up here for you and your family. And we have a beautiful outdoor space that really allows you to get married in the heart of East County. Well, Jordan, will you walk me down the aisle? Absolutely. You Thank look like you. you'd be a great groom. So just a quick jump outside, and you get to go to our outside facility. Outdoor Ceremony Arbor. And it's beautiful. So, so Jordan, I mean, th since, since we've been here, I've seen, in, just through the glass, this facility having several civil ceremonies out here. Uh, underneath their beautiful arbor. Well, with our new outdoor facility, we were actually able to keep wedding uh, ceremonies going throughout the pandemic. In fact, when the governor shut down all 58 county wedding services in March of last year, 
we're the only county to find a way to stay open. We never close our services, and we've been keeping our services going here in Santee. You know, we're right off Mission Gorge, a busy street, but back here, you feel like you're in the quietest, it, most enjoyable, it, serene area. It's it's truly amazing. So here with Monica and Hezekiah, they, they took full advantage of the usage here, especially during the, the pandemic. They're here and just had their, uh, their, their wedding. Yeah, and yeah. it was amazing. It was definitely worth coming here. We've been planning this for a while, so at least we got to get it finally done. Yep. So. Congratulations. I think Jordan actually has something something here for you guys as well. On behalf of the county assessor for the quick office, here's a little thank you for that. You can hold that up so you can have a picture of you. You just married. Aww. Now, Kyle, before you leave, you gotta check out our county archive. The archive? It's the jewel of our building. All right, well, this is just as easy. So just from outside to inside here is the county archive. We actually hired the first ever county archivist to manage our records here. As you can see, our team's hard at work taking millions of records and moving them from our storage wow. into our new facility. And I'll tell you, it's state of the art. Well, I'm glad to have with us Renato and Veronica. These are two of our archivists working on different parts of our historic documents and making sure we're maintaining our maps and our historic records. So that way you know where you came from and where your property formed and protects you in the future knowing your past. And, and it sounds like we're gonna get shown some, a really cool piece of our history coming up here uh, that Veronica has right here on site that dates way back to, what, 1918? Well, when I was in high, junior high school, I used to say if it was really cool, it was sick. Veronica might actually have a piece of document that shows that they were sick. Pretty sick. Well, <laughs> let's, let's get to it. Thank you, thank you guys for, for everything you do here, too. So what do we have here? So this is a small collection of death certificates, um, primarily from Camp Kearney from December 1918. Um, the interesting thing about it is it provides sort of a, a quick little microcosm so uh, death. It, it, back in 1918 there was uh, something similar happening that's happening right now well certainly with the spanish influenza um current research indicates that it really started at a military around a military um, installation in kansas wow and it spread out from that kansas site um from that camp to uh, the majority of the other camps in the u.s and so this is a piece of history right here and, and this is the deaths that occurred relating to that here in, in San Diego County. So there's a total of 46 certificates in there. Three of them are from women who were in the area around the camp. Um, one did die of influenza. There was another uh, certificate for a gentleman who was a retired um, community member, um, unrelated. But the remaining certificates, other than one soldier who died from a car accident, or were all soldiers who died within a three-week period at Camp Kearney um, from complications from the Spanish influenza. And, and, your, and your job with this record is just to preserve it and archive it? To make sure that it continues to be available and a resource for people as they want to learn about the history of, of what happened, um, using it as a way to show you know, how things moved across the country, really to document these people's lives. Wow. Well, th thanks for share sharing with us. I blame the Spanish for the flu when it really came from us. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. funny how those things sort of circle back around. Right in here, you need key card access, and we have it in the hands of our key archivist because it is a climate-controlled room. So, Kyle, in order to maintain our records, we need to keep them in the most stable temperature and humidity, to, uh, and so the integrity of the documents can be held for a long time. Okay. In our state-of-the-art facility, uh, part of keeping that temperature control, which is so important to maintaining these documents, we also have different ways of protecting them in case of fire, emergency, and whatnot. But actually right behind us is what we call the off-gas room. And the reason why that room is so important is actually a lot of the documents that when they were created had different inks used. Really? And so when you're actually preserving these documents, it can actually be a pretty dangerous job. And so we actually have a specific room in order to allow those poisonous gases to come off the documents before we store them on this state-of-the-art storage facility. Wow, so is these the gas right here? Well, this is what protects it in case of a fire because you can't let the water sprinklers go. We have special, special. chemicals here 
in case of fire to preserve the documents and not lose them to, I mean, imagine you flood your whole archive, it'd be horrible. I feel like I'm like underground in a bunker somewhere, yeah. but we're right here in Santee. But I'll tell you, all of these documents right now, we are in the process of taking all the poisonous gases off of them. And actually, as you look in these special drawers, we have little dr holes drilled in and special ways for the maps and the different inks that were used over time. You know, when people were making stuff in the 70s, 80s, 50s, they weren't thinking about somebody having to smell it in later. <laughs> yeah, they were just using whatever so, was cheap. We have to make sure that when we are preserving these documents, we're also preserving the safety of our employees. So we're getting all the bad chemicals off, making sure that any of the chemicals that can destroy the documents are removed, and then we're moving them onto the archive shelves. So bringing everything into this facility is quite an undertaking. It's a multi-phase, but it's important to the integrity and history of our county. Awesome, absolutely. So Renato's got the actual parcel maps right here, and this is how, if you need a, a, a property map of a, if you're purchasing property, this is, this is, this is where it's at. This is how it's held. Yep. Wow. All of these maps have come out of bound volumes, where in terms of conservation preservation, we've debound them, unbound them, and individually placed them in interleaving folders. So this particular folder has six maps in it. So there's six maps in the folder in this particular one. In this particular folder. Wow. There's 10 folders per drawer. So we can get about 50, 60 maps per drawer. Wow. If you were to count all the drawers. It's a lot of maps. We have over 150,000 <laughs> maps. Wow. And that's maps. One map might be 10 sheets. Wow. And, and Kyle, really, when Assessor, Recorder, Clerk, Ernie Dronenberg had the vision, it was kind of like the movie Field of Dreams. He said, if I build it, they will come, and that's what we do. We're pulling everything out of archives in our storage facility where it was inaccessible to the public, and with the help of these experts, they're here to help walk the public through to find their key documents. So your documents are, are safe and sound here in Santee, California. Yep, that's right. Well, thank you so much for showing me this. Veronica, you're, 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 you have some toys to play with here. The movable shelves are very um, impressive. This is really a, a state of the art. This is state of the art. Well, and most importantly, we need to make sure that we have enough space to store not only what we have from our past, but also what we expect to get in our future. So having condensed storage space is key to the success of this archive. Now, all these records, are they always going to maintain a paper copy? or Because you now there's big server rooms you see on TV. So but I don't see that here. Some of our documents, by law, we have to maintain paper copies. Paper copies. But a significant amount of our records, and you know, you used to remember you used to go in that fishbowl and run the records underneath the scanners and view them. Uh, we still have those, and we're maintaining those here as well. Wow. So Veronica, we're gonna go see Jonathan, was it? John. John. Our graduate student who is assisting us with this binding maps. Amazing. So, so Renato. What do we have happening over here? So this is kind of our processing station. As you can see, this is one of our books that has been debound. So the cover's been removed. And all of these individual map sheets will eventually be placed into a map folder with acid-free archival interleaving sheets in between to protect each sheet from each other. These are specifically made with a diazo reproduction process, kind of like a photochemical process. So these will be going into the diazo room. Wow. And staying there. And there we go, just, just one at a time. So you guys are bringing this in and yeah, so one book, unbounding them? Yeah, so one book takes about a day. Wow, that's, not longer. that's it's amazing and work. And we're capturing all the identification numbers, map numbers, book numbers. In 1987, right there. I think Jordan was 25. No. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. So John's been assisting me in deconstructing the map volumes, labeling the folders, uh, putting them into our spreadsheet, which will eventually go into a larger database. So then when the public does come to us, we will have access to the book. Because right now, nobody has access to this map. Yeah, or this one, you couldn't or this even one. get it unless you knew it was here. So this is the process it takes to actually make maps accessible. A lot of people think it's just like, why? Why well, yeah. isn't everything digitized? Why can't I have it right now? Exactly. Yeah. This why. Well, this video should help explain to people that process. Good. So we can say, turn into California, San Diego County's gold, and, and uh, Kyle's show will show you how to do it. Yeah.
Well, Jordan, I, I really have to say uh, thank you for saying I do <laughs> to being here on San Diego County's Gold. We appreciate everything you're doing for the county and you have a beautiful facility, wonderful staff right here in Santee at the new now, what's that, that long name again? Well, we're really happy to have you here at the Assessor, Recorder, County Clerks, and Treasure Tax Collector Service Center in Santee, and also the Countywide Archive. Because I'll tell you, Kyle, happiness really does begin here. Whether it's birth, death, marriage, taxes, buying your first home, we're, we're really happy and thankful to be a part of that here and provide you great customer service at the San Diego County Assessor, Recorder, County Clerk, East County Archive. What he said. <laughs>